We all know the blade shape is from the Becker Necker and the handle is from the SE Azula. These are two different knife companies. So how did we get the marriage of the two? Uh, that's a good question. And the answer is very interesting. Uh, contrary to what you may think, it didn't start its life on a drafting board or in a computer program. The marriage of these two knives wasn't even conceived of by either Ethan Becker of Becker Knives or Jeff Randall and Mike Perrin of Essie Knives. It was conceived in the mind of a knife enthusiast and member of Blade Forms who loved both the Becker Necker and the Essie Azula. At that time, Essie was known as Rat Knives, uh, but that's a story for another day. If you guys are interested in a video like that, please subscribe and sign up for notifications. Let's get back to our story. The man who we can all thank for the Escobar is a member of the Becker subform specifically on Blade Forms. His name is Prop the Polecat, and on May 20th, 2009, he posted up his Frankenstein-esque creation, and he called it the Necula. Yep, that's right, the Necula. Neck from the Necker and Ula from the Azula. In his post, he mentioned how he loved the blade from the Becker Necker and the skeletonized handle of the Azula. So he decided to combine the two. He first started off by taking a piece of stainless steel. He traced the outline of the Azula handle and he drilled out the holes in the handle. Then he used a jigsaw to remove excess material. Then he did the unthinkable. He sawed his Becker Necker into two, and he combined the blade of the Necker with the stainless steel Izula handle that he made. The thread is still on blade forms, and I like to thank the moderators in the, uh, the Becker form for doing such an awesome job of curating all of uh, Becker Knives history. I'll have a link down below, and you guys can see for yourself and check out this piece of history. Um, everyone loved his pictures and the, uh, his idea. Even the man behind Becker Knives, Ethan Becker, loved the idea. And a year or two after that post was made, K-Bar and uh, Becker Knives released the BK-14, the Escobar. They went into full production, and Prop the Polecat received one of the first official ones. And that's it. That's the story behind the Becker BK-14. I hope you guys found the story as interesting as I did. I first discovered this thread uh, maybe three or four years ago. And I've been meaning to make a video for quite some time. And I'm sorry it's taken this long to get this video out to you guys. But the story is such a great example of the relationship that Ethan Becker has with uh, the uh, the consumers out there, the, the knife users. He is active on the Becker forums, so you guys can have a chance to talk to him over there on Blade Forums. Well guys, that's it for this video. If you guys found it to be interesting, please consider giving me a sub and a like, leave a comment, and share the video if you want to help out the channel. Alright guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.